are interconnected like this on a separate panel so you can buy as many as you want depending with the amount of water you want to deal with so water flow from each panel to another slowly because they you can see this the panel is spread out for the sun to get enough surface area to interact with the water these two rows serve one unit and the, the other two rows serve, serve a different unit mm -hmm. so like if you touch this one you feel the water is running through so water runs from one panel to another and you can feel the panel itself is warm mm -hmm. and it's black in color the principle of black color absorb more heat uh, than the shiny color so the water flows in this panel in thin layer to make it easy to conduct heat through it. Now I can notice our solar panels have a design, there's holes to it. Do they play any significant role? The hole is to make sure that the surface area is extended because we want water to spread as much as possible to a thin layer as much as possible. So the, the more the water is spread to a thinner layer, the easier for heat to conduct into the water easily. If you can come with me, I'll show you where all starts. And uh, here we have two supply pipes. Like I mentioned before, the fish water that we are warming here are indoor. And then there's a pump inside, water pump, a submersible water pump, which uses electricity, of course, but a very little electricity because you see the head is very low. So that pumps bring water into this panel. Now this is the inlet into the panel and it floods this panel. When this panel is flooded and is full, it starts flooding the next one. And then we go all round to the last panel on this row. Then we come back on this second row. And then the water that is now exiting the two panel rows is on this one. This is the exit pipe, it's which now, outlet. yeah, now that is the outlet from the solar. Now that takes water, warm water back to the fish. These are renewable energy. We can use this one tomorrow. And, and you can use this panel for even 30 years because it's just flowing water through them. Uh, and then the system keep on uh, working effectively. How costly is it to put up this structure together? This one is very, very cheap way of maintaining and sustaining egg production in a hatchery. The only maintenance you need here is to, after six months, you bring a very high pressure pump, take off these panels because you, you see you can, there are things, things that are just plug and play here. Yeah? So you can just take it off, apply very high pressure here and uh, wash out any accumulation of solids that may have happened in the panel. Then the panel is as good as new. Now Ngina Umeona operation the way it's easy, it's just our water coming in and out. Now at this point, please allow me to show you where this water comes from and where it goes back to. Absolutely, yes, let's sir. go. Okay. This is a submersible water pump to may wake up and run in the supply cable. A lot of we pipe in the inlet here in the solar. Maji enye inaenda uko, inaenda ikiwa lower temperature compared to maji enye inarudi uko. So we have a thermometer with us. We can check the temperature here. Before the water goes. Before the water goes to the solar. Right. Yeah. Right now you can see the temperature is? 27.5. Now that is the water that has not been warmed. Now if you allow me, I show you now the water that is now coming back from the solar after going through those panels we were talking about. So this is the inlet from the solar. This is the water that has been warmed now. And it's now warm and conducive for fish breeding process. Check at the, at the pipe here. 34.6. Within a matter of minutes, that water has just left here and it just came back. It went at 27. It's now coming back at 34. 34 is too much for the fish. But you see the receiving water body is 27. So when you balance it, after one hour it will be around 30 degrees and then we switch it off. So all this you can stand here and confirm to other farmers, fish farmers, that the solar water heater is the way to go. Because it's a green energy and everybody needs to embrace that. Thank you so very much for having us. It's been an absolute pleasure learning so much about how you are using this technology. Now we have come to the end of this agri nation and we have seen how technology is helping farmers right here 
at Kamuranga Fish Farm. The sun is naturally given and they are using that which is given for free to their best advantage. Thank you so much for watching. Nam uh we tazama vizuri sana kumba. Gina uko do kwenwe. Mm-hmm. That's my home. Na fresh. Lakini sansa tu kwende karika kitengo kingine tunakita Altromix tunazungumzia Altrovetis kampuni kubwa hii na shughuliki hapa kubwa sana kuhusiana na vakula vya ngombe lakini leo tunazungumzia Altromix blocks tupate kutazama hii. Daktari, tumekutana tena. Sasa wakati ule tulikiachana uko na mbeki tukimoja kwamba nirejee kuna jambo sikumaliza. Nieleze kwa sababu sasa mambo ndio hii sasa. Sasa leo tunataka kuzungumzia kusu mix block. Hii itasaidia maziwa ni ile tu sasa imewekwa in block form. Because ile nyingine ilikuwa powder. Nakumbuka ile siku nyingine tulizungumzia kusu powder. Sasa hii block form inaishi kwa muda mrefu. Unajua sasa hii uchumi vile iko. Lazima tuweke kitu ina dumu kidogo. Ndio kwa maana tulizungumzia hii. Katika kampuni ya Altravetis tulisema kwamba tunapenda bidhaa mzuri. Tulivumbua hii block I think it's now two years since it's been there in the market. And actually in terms of distribution every corner of the country right now most of the farmers are using the Altramix block. Because of the economic situation of our country right now most of the farmers cannot afford dairy meal. And our dairy meal has become very expensive because when you're using the powder lazima ukuwe na dairy meal ya kuchanganya ndio ngombe aweze kukula. Sasa tuliona hiyo problem na tuka come up na Altamix maziwa block ambapo it's a very good block because uh, first of all it's concentrated with all the macro and micro minerals. Macro minerals vile tulisema ni madini ambayo yanahitajika kwa kwa wingi. Madini kama ya calcium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, manganese. It has also trace elements ambapo ni copper, manganese, zinc na yote ina contribute to the well-being of the animal. If you look at this animal, the hair got color. I mean the hair should be very smooth and shiny. Na wakati wanakosa for example zinc in their diet, unapata ngombe anakuwa kama makonge. The hair becomes very coarse and rough. Then also sometimes you find deficiency especially wakikosa uh, minerals kama copper, unapata wako this loss of pigmentation kwa face. Hii inaletwa na copper deficiency. Tuko na madini kama zinc ambao ni ya muhimu sana sana kufanya animal akuwe akuje on heat copper na pia manganese for nerve function and mambo ya coenzyme na transmission of nerve impulses so this block it's easy to give to the animal because unafunga tu unaona vile imefungwa i mean kwa dairy shed na ngombe wata wana free access what we call free feeding so ngombe wana any time wanasikia kulamba wanalamba lakini unapata ile ile powder ile ultra mix maziwa powder lazima ukuwe na dairy meal mix kwa trough ndio aweze kukula so hii imesaidia sana sana wakulima ku ku still kupatia ngombe madini ataviri cheap and cost effective method kwa block kuna rangi tofauti nieleze kwa nini tulichagua hii kala ya white because uh, number one, DCP ni dicalcium phosphate ili inatumika kutengeneza this ultra mix block tunahakikisha ni white kwa sababu most of the DCPs unapata because it's mined on the earth surface unapata iko na impurities mingi so hii white color inamaanisha iko pure hakuna a lot of impurities here the white color is synonymous to milk you know when the farmer buys it actually unaona ni kama inaleta maziwa unaona and uh, also inaonyesha impurities kama hakuna it's a high quality block then secondly it's compact hii block hata nikiangusha hivi chini haiwezi kupasuka kwa urahisi so with ultra mix block i think ile compaction inafanywa it's a high quality then also another quality ni vile tumesema it's balanced it's from a repeatable source and it's highly palatable je inaweza kaa kwa muda mrefu ikilinganishwa na poda yes unajua poda ya ngombe na lamba inaisha but this one you can hang it here and stay for a long time so hata kama umesahau kupatia chumvi ngombe wanaipata hapo supplementation is very key in our dairy animals and uh, we really need to make sure we do it in a correct way dairy animals cannot produce milk without having the important minerals 
and the important management. These animals need minerals because they cannot get this what is enough for them. So ningependa kuhimiza wakulima wote watumie bidhaa kutoka Ultravetis, Ultramix especially the the ranges from maziwa to joto to ndama to nyama all of them and uh, they will they will go to the bank smiling. Huwa mara nyingi unatafuta mbinu ya kukwepa kutumia hela zako sana. Na umesikiza kutoka kwa daktari akisema kwamba ukiwa na Ultramix block nafasi na niafueni kubwa kwako kwa mfuko. Ukishaweka hapo tayari yule ngombe atalamba tu na itasukwa muda mrefu. Asante sana kwa kufuatilia Kenya's Gold. Jina langu ni Emmanuel Taver.